Good day, Barbados, and welcome to Talking Finance with the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Barbados, or ICAB. My name is Diana Weeks Marshall, and I am a lecturer in accounting at the University of the West Indies, a member of ICAB and a former council member of ICAB. Today I'm here to speak to you on the topic of the circular economy. I will briefly explain the concept of a circular economy, the benefits and challenges of embracing a circular economy, and explain how we can all play a role in transitioning Barbados towards a more sustainable model of doing business. In a world where resources are limited and waste is accumulating, the concept of a circular economy offers us a way to transform the way in which we produce, consume and manage resources. A circular economy is an economic model designed to minimize waste and to maximize the value of resources by keeping products in circulation for as long as possible. This is unlike the traditional linear model where we extract or take resources, we then produce various goods, they are then retailed and sold, and once used, they are then disposed of or dumped. There are many disadvantages to maintaining a traditional linear model, since significant waste is produced throughout the production chain and also after the products have been consumed. This excess waste continues to damage our economies, pollutes our environs, wildlife and seas, all of which can have a negative impact on our way of life and our ability to maintain our beautiful island as an attractive tourist destination. There are numerous benefits to Barbados embracing a circular economy, such as it will help us to reduce our environmental footprint. By promoting resource efficiency and significantly reducing pollution, we can mitigate the effects of climate change and safeguard our ecosystem. Circular economies also have the potential to generate economic growth and to create new opportunities as it fosters business innovation as new and sustainable products and services are developed as we seek to recycle, repair and refurbish instead of simply dumping products after they have been used. However, implementing a circular economy is not without its challenges. One major obstacle is changing consumer behaviour and mindsets. In every sector of our economy, we need to move away from having a throwaway culture and there needs to be a shift in the way in which we perceive the products that we use. This can only be accomplished through education and raising the awareness of businesses and consumers alike to the benefits of initiatives such as this. Businesses must be encouraged to redesign their products for durability, repairability and recyclability. This will of course involve some upfront investment and innovative changes to their production processes, causing them to become more efficient and by extending the lifespan of products, we can reduce the need for imports, thereby reducing waste and saving costs and reducing the strain on the country's resources. Governments and regulatory bodies also have a crucial role to play as they incentivize these changes through revised policies, incentives and standards that help promote sustainability. As a nation, we will need to give thought to our waste management infrastructure and how these can be developed to better facilitate the shift towards a circular economy. As always, professional accountants will have a significant role to play as we enable the measurement of value, impact and risk as the transition is enabled. In conclusion, the transition to a circular economy can help Barbados to address some of its unique economic and environmental concerns. So no longer should we be caught up using the old adage of mash up and buy back, but instead let us all find innovative ways to renew, recycle and refurbish and to develop a sense of ownership and pride as we all seek to engage in strengthening the Barbados economy and contributing to the island's overall resilience and sustainability. In this episode, we have examined the concept of a circular economy. We looked at the benefits 
and challenges of implementing a circular economy and explored the role that we can all play as we seek to transition Barbados to a circular economy. Thank you for listening. My name is Diana Weeks Marshall and this has been Talking Finance with ICAP.